When the call comes in, firefighter paramedics with Clark Cowlitz Fire Rescue are on the way. But if it's an overdose... And this is, I mean, these are folks that are, are pretty much dying right then and there. Another team, the Acute Cares Unit, is right behind for high-risk patients. They're unconscious, usually not breathing, possibly blue, or they could have already gone into arrest. The co-response team administers Narcan, a common medication used to help reverse the effects of an overdose. But beyond Narcan, this team is now carrying a new medication to help people when they suddenly wake up, buprenorphine. They're agitated, um, uncomfortable, upset, um, not feeling well, and desiring to have that same high experience that they were having before. That's part of the substance use disorder problem. And there really is only one or two choices that can happen at that point. They can go to the ED and hopefully get treatment there, or they refuse and just go home and do it all over again. I think we provide a third option that actually is, uh, it works. This so-called third option is offered by the co-response team, which includes both a paramedic and a behavioral crisis counselor. The drug soothes withdrawal symptoms, especially after Narcan. That way, while the crew is still on scene, they can calmly discuss next steps with the patient, including treatment and follow-up. And a lot of these people don't know that they have mental health issues. So it's the first time that they're meeting with somebody and, and being told, oh, this is what that is, and you can get help for that. The benefits extend well beyond the life or death crisis. The Washington State Department of Health is hoping emergency medical service providers in all counties will join the pilot project to offer patients long-term relief throughout the state. And this just gives that link that helps them find a different way and, and find a way back to normal life again. Libby Dowsett, KGW News.